Today marks the final open training camp practice for the San Francisco 49ers. I believe they have one more practice tomorrow and then they head to Las Vegas for joint practices and then they will get ready for their preseason game against the Raiders on Sunday. Uh, today I would say is it was a much better uh, practice in regards to intensity compared to the previous one. Um, the boys were moving pretty well today. Uh, I definitely got to shout out the 49ers defensive line. Again, no Nick Bosa. We haven't seen Nick Bosa, and we don't know the status update of Nick Bosa, but the boys are getting after it. One standout today, Cleland Farrell. He would have had multiple sacks today. He had a tackle for loss on CMC going against Trent Williams. Cleland Farrell is a guy who's really started to come along and uh, play really well towards the end of training camp. He's been running with the ones, uh, kind of in Bosa's spot opposite of Drake Jackson. Uh, but I would say today was Cleveland Furrell's best practice. He looked pretty darn good. He was chasing quarterbacks all over the place. Austin Bryant uh, would have had, I think he had, a, he definitely ran into Trey Lance on a sack where he couldn't even stop himself. He just ran straight into him. And he definitely would have had a minimum uh, pressure on another one. Potential would be sack. Austin Bryant getting after it. You had guys on the interior defensive line getting after it. Um, Javon Kinlaw just, again, continues to look like a difference maker out here. Um, so the defensive line was uh, feasting today. But uh, wasn't just the defensive line that was doing good. Christian McCaffrey continues to just look like an absolute stud out there. And on top of that, TDP, Jordan Mason, quality, quality backs. Interesting situation with the running backs. Uh, I don't even know. There still might be on the field behind me. I don't think I can zoom in. But if you see the yellow jerseys in the back, far back, those are four running backs uh, working out in front of 49ers player personnel and scouts right now. So you have uh, running backs getting worked out. So I wonder if that has anything to do uh, with Elijah Mitchell and his uh, way back today. Um, but in regards to quarterbacks, uh, today was uh, Brock Purdy day. Um, Brock Purdy had three touchdowns in a row in the red zone period. Uh, looked really crisp today. Uh, probably, again, one of it, probably his best practice. I would say every practice that Brock has had, it has better the previous practice that he had before. So Brock continues to improve, again, uh, highlighted by the three touchdowns in a row in red zone period. Um, looked really, really good. He had a dropped touchdown by Danny Gray that hit Danny Gray right in the hands. Danny was visibly frustrated by it, um, but that should have been a touchdown. Also, there was another potential touchdown where Brock Purdy threw down the right sideline to the front corner pylon. It was 1v1 CMC. It was in team drills, but it was a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Christian McCaffrey versus Demetrius Flanagan fouls. Uh, Brock put it in a good spot on the back shoulder. CMC rose up to try to get it. Uh, looked like he got his hands on it, but wasn't able to come down with it. Uh, Brock did have a pick. Uh, it was a tipped uh, deflected pass over the middle to uh, the defensive uh, from, I think it was DFF who had the PBU. And then it tipped up to Tashawn Gibson who had the interception. A um, couple sacks on the day for Purdy, but I would say overall Purdy is your unquestioned quarterback one. Uh, again, I think another mixed bag on the day for um, Trey Lance and Sam Darnold. And uh, Trey Lance did have a touchdown in uh, red zone period. He found, I think it was Chris Connolly on a slant for a touchdown. Um, but again, no real standouts between the quarterback two competition. Uh, they're definitely going back and forth. Uh, they still feel pretty even on the day. Um, we had our first designed quarterback run of the day. Trey Lance had a, uh, what was it? He dropped back, quarterback draw, run up the middle in red zone, stopped at about the one, uh, but it was our first designed quarterback run on the on the all of practice. Um, Trey had a near interception in the uh, red zone period. Um, he would have been sacked and then threw an interception. I didn't log it as an interception because 
If it's a sack, I call it a dead. I just call it a dead play. Um, Darnold, I think pretty much typical if you've listened to other uh, reactions from training camp is pretty similar. Darnold practice, um, you know, shows good ball placement for the most part, short to intermediate, has some bad reads, misses here or there. Um, but overall, this is Brock Purdy's job. Um, definitely the best quarterback on the day today. And, you know, wasn't perfect, but uh, by far the best quarterback on the field today. And again, he took all the first team reps, all of training camp, and it's his job. There's, there's no one coming for him. There's no one competing for him. This is Brock's job moving forward. And uh, we heard Kyle Shanahan was talking to uh, the media. Doesn't sound like he'll be participating in uh, the preseason game. So I also think that also explains that he's kind of your QB one moving forward and they feel really, really comfortable with it as fans try to get Ray Ray McLeod to come over here and get some interceptions or not interceptions. Uh, <laughs> some autographs um ray ray actually had a pretty decent day um but overall that's it from training camp 2023 and i think we're out all right later <laughs>